everybody. So today I'll be reading You Can't Taste a Pickle with Your Ear, a book about your five senses by Harriet Zyfert, and the pictures are by Amanda Haley. What are the senses? Senses tell people and animals about the world around them. They warn them of danger. You use your senses to smell, touch, hear, see, and taste. Your nose, skin, ears, eyes, and tongue are working all of the time, even when you are not paying attention to them. When you go to bed, do you see shadows on the floor? Do you hear your bed creak? Do you taste toothpaste in your mouth? Do you smell soap on your hands? Do you feel the covers over your toes? When you do these things, you use your senses. You smell, you touch, you hear, you see, and you taste. Chapter one, hold your nose. If you hold your nose, you can't smell much. Try it. When you let go of your nose, what do you smell? Oh, I smells clean in here because I cleaned in here. If you smell food cooking, it might make you want to eat something. If you smell something bad, you might lose your appetite. Some smells such as smoke from a fire warn you of danger. Some are quite unpleasant like the odor of a skunk when it the odor a skunk makes when it's scared. Deer have a very good sense of smell. They can sniff the wind to smell if it's dangerous animals are near. The next time you go out, use your sniffer. What can you get a whiff of? Dad drinks coffee, mom drinks tea. Neither drink smells good to me. My nose tells me, and it doesn't lie, grandma's baking an apple pie. When you're tired and think you are sweet, what? Oh, when you're tired and think you're sweet, pull off your socks and smell your feet. Oh, that's yucky. In her lunchbox, Susie packs salami, pickles, and cheese snacks. Wind and waves, shells and sand, the salt air smells oh so grand. Strawberry bubbles in my tub. First I'll soak and then I'll scrub. My nose knows when Spot walks by if his fur is wet or dry. Ew, a wet dog does not smell good. What can you smell? What can you guess from the smells in your house? If you follow your nose, can you tell what everyone is doing? Does everything have a smell? Is there anything with no smell at all? Do you like the smell of a flower? Have you ever smelled anything that warned you of danger? What's your favorite food smell? What do you smell right now? Chapter two, please don't touch. Hot, cold, wet, dry, soft or prickly, nerve endings or receptors in your skin, especially in your fingers and toes are always giving your brain information about the world. One of the first things you learned as a toddler was not to touch hot and not to touch sharp. But by the time you were three or four, you knew pretty much what you could not touch. Though even grown-ups make mistakes and touch things they wish they hadn't. What can you safely touch? Pat a kitty, feel her fur. If you're gentle, she may purr. Touch a toad, young or old. Hoppity hop hard to hold. Worms are soft. Can you find some in your yard? Beetles are hard. Baby likes banana all mashed up soft and mushy in her cup. What's the softest thing you've ever touched? Have you ever touched anything that you will never touch again? Ooh, I've touched a snake and I do not want to touch a snake again. Touch something with your fingers. Now touch something with your toes. Does it feel the same or different? Oh, my kitty is wanting to be in the picture. Chapter three, cover your ears. Your ears pick up sounds from, from sound waves that travel through the air. 
You need your ears and your brain to hear. Did you know that you need your brain to hear? Even if you cover your ears, some sound still gets through. When you uncover them, you hear lots of different sounds. Horns are honking, beep, beep, bam. Cars are stuck in a traffic jam. Early in the morning, an alarm clock rings. A sleepy head yawns and a daddy sings. What's that sound behind the door? I think it's granny starting to snore. All day long on Maple Street, big dogs bark and small birds tweet. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. When you know the notes to sing, you can hum most anything. Say excuse me when you burp, when eating soup, please do not slurp. Thump, thump, mommy, come and see, a dinosaur is chasing me. Those are all different kinds of sounds that you hear. What sounds does your body make? What sounds can you make with your body? Like what sounds can you make with your hands? What sounds can you make with your mouth or your feet? Do you ever get angry and pretend you can't hear people? What sounds come from the outside world through the window? Chapter four, close your eyes. You have two eyes which you use together to help you see what is near you and what is far away. An animal that hunts usually has two eyes at the front of its head. Animals that are eaten by other animals often have eyes at the sides of their heads. Chameleons can move each eye separately and this helps them watch for danger. When you close your eyes, the world goes black. And when you open them, the colors come back. Red and blue make a purple cat Red and yellow make an orange hat. Stand on your head, balance on your crown. Everything you see is upside down. With an x-ray picture, all the bones I can see in, oh, with an x-ray picture, I can see all the bones inside of me. Reading a book about a pup, make sure to hold it right side up. A magnifying glass makes things bigger. Look what happens to a tiny chigger. Ooh, those are not very nice bugs. Magic mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? What kinds of things can you see through? Have you ever worn a blindfold? What does it feel like? When you shut your eyes, what happens? Can you see in the dark? If you put something in water and look at it from the top, does it look bigger or smaller? We did this in our class. We put stuff in water and we, we noted how it looked and how it uh, moved. All right, last one, chapter five, stick out your tongue. Actually, there might be another one. Chapter five, stick out your tongue. Your tongue has two important jobs. It helps you shape words so that you can talk. And it also allows you to taste, swallow, and eat. There are groups of taste buds on different parts of the tongue. The back is bitter. The, the back sides are sour. The side at the front is salty and the very front is sweet. Miss Young likes sweet stuff. Everybody should know that by now. <laughs> this nasty medicine makes me frown. I'll hold my nose and swallow it down. Pigs are eating all that slop. If I tried, I'd throw up. How do you do it, Mr. Raccoon? Eating garbage by the light of the moon. All this food makes me pale. It looks like supper for a whale. What's the saltiest thing you have ever tasted? Mmm. I think a... Mmm. I don't know, pretzels are pretty salty, or chips. What is your favorite food? My favorite food would be green beans. Have you ever tasted anything you were sorry about? Oh, I guess, have you ever tasted anything very yucky that you didn't wanna eat again? That would be Brussels sprouts. I do not like Brussels sprouts. 
Make a, oh, no, that's kind of long. What, oh, what is the sweetest thing that you've ever eaten? I'd say candy. Conclusion, all of your senses, the senses of many animals are better than your senses. A dog can smell things that you cannot smell. A bat can hear things that you cannot hear. An owl can see better in the dark. But our brains are able to use this information from our senses differently from animals. When you wake up in the morning and throw off the covers, which senses are you using? Our senses are important to us. We're lucky to be able to use all of them all of the time. I've got a nifty body. It goes everywhere with me. It smells and hears and touches and it can taste and see. My head is very special with ears on either side, a face with a nose and eyeballs, a mouth where a tongue can hide. My skin is over everything. I feel with it, you see. Put them all together and what you sense is me. The end. I think that's a really fun book. I know it was a little long and there weren't a whole, whole lot of pictures, but I think it's very, very interesting. And you can also, um, I will post pictures in the comments of the, the question pages. So if you wanna go back and look at the questions, like the page that was, what can you taste? Um, taste an apple and then hold your nose and taste the difference. So I'm gonna post those pages if you wanna do those activities with the kids. But I hope you liked it. You can't taste a pickle with your ear. A book about your five senses by Harriet Zeifer and the pictures by Amanda Haley. Have a good rest of your day.